Let's talk a little bit more about the parameter we created called whole state. My idea was to have a parameter that would control the existence of my holes. But I have two different types of holes. I have a center hole and I have these bolt holes. And the Boolean expression or parameter whole state only gives me the options for yes or no. So I would have to either have all my holes on or off or just one of my holes controlled by that variable. It really doesn't make sense to do that. So instead of having a Boolean expression, I'm going to change this whole state parameter to a string. Now, I can't change the type. Once it's set, it doesn't, ProE does not give me the option to change the type that it is. If I'm able to, I should probably just delete that. Notice also now I can't delete it because it's being used. It's being used in my program. Notice I don't have a red X here anymore. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that, go back to my program, edit design, and remove that line from my program. Yes, I'll take current values. And I'll go back to my relation editor. Now I should be able to delete that. And I'm going to recreate it. as a state so that I have more options and more flexibility with what that value can be and what it can control. And for now I'm just going to set that equal to yes for the value. So I've changed the whole state param parameter from a boolean expression to a string parameter. I'm going to go back to my program and add that back into my inputs. Whole state. And I have to give it the parameter type here, and it's a string. So I'll exit out of that. Say yes. And now when I click enter, if I choose whole state, now it doesn't give me the yes or no. I can put anything I want here. I could say all, or I could say center. I can input whatever I want. So now I have more flexibility over my model. Please check out other video tutorials from Simplified Logic or visit our website at simplifiedlogic.com.